We are going to a um, house of a hoarder. No joke, hoarder. Um, a family is trying to clean up a property. Their father passed away um, a few months ago and you would not believe the stuff that is there. Um, a friend of mine and I went yesterday and got a bunch of stuff and we're headed back today to see what other treasures we might be able to find, what um, pieces of wood and whatnot that we might be able to find for any future projects. Always awesome to upcycle and to use stuff. And we're helping out the family clean the property because it really is impressive. There's a lot of stuff. So I'm really excited to see what's there from yesterday. Um, a few people showed up and we'll see what got uncovered and there might not be anything left. We'll just find out. Believe it or not, um, a lot of it's gone. So I'm pretty confident we'll find some fun things still, but um, a lot of it's gone. That's good for the family. Hardly made a dent, but uh, we might come back. We've got some fencing posts and some different things. I got this. Um, plastic dog kennel top. I was thinking the bunnies could kind of go in there, get some reprieve from the weather and uh, just some random other things. So yay for fun scavenging. It's hard on me to leave all this because I know there's so much usable material but I'm going to share with some local Facebook groups and see if we can't help this family clean up this, this stuff. There's still so much stuff there at the yard. Um, I did pick up this really cool metal um, box. It kind of sits on top of it and clips together. I'm really not sure what that was, but heck, maybe it'll be a little swimming pool for the kids. But, um, gosh, it's just so much work. This looks like there's not a lot, but it took us a couple hours to, to get all that together. So, um, we're going to go ahead and unload it. I've got some errands to run and do, and I'd prefer not to do it with a bunch of wood in the back of the truck. We also did find a few um, pans and bowls. Um, a lot of it still with the thrift store tags on it. So this cute man just was a bit of a hoarder. So I've got um, some fun kitchen supplies and supplies to put in my trailer. So really excited about that. We're going to unload. Let's get going. Have you got an extra? Yeah. So some of it's rotted a little, but a little rotting is okay. It's just going back into the ground as a fence post. Mail call! I checked the P.O. box and we have a package! So thank you for whoever sent it. It, it um, looks like it came from a company and so there's no um, return label as to who may have sent us this package. Let's open it! What is this? What is it? Six. It says a gift from for you. There's another one? It's from Amazon. <laughs> That's awesome. It says a gift for you. 
Hi, Willow. I'm tired of seeing you shocked by the electric fence. Hope this helps in your troubleshooting. Love what you are doing with the pigs and your very happy channel. From wishes to remain anonymous. That is so cool. Jonah will thank you immensely. Um, no more shocking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How nice. How nice. I'll open it. What is it? It is a fence tester, so Dad doesn't have to get shocked anymore. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't have to get shocked either. We're excited about this haul of useful materials. Like I said, this roofing, super excited about that. They had a whole bunch more, but uh, my friend Kelsey and I just did not have the energy to dig it out. There's some serious piles at that place. So really excited. Now we've got a few small piles on our place. So hopefully Jonah will be okay with the material that I brought home and uh, we're really excited about it. So thanks for coming along on this crazy journey that we call homesteading. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. We'd appreciate liking this video if you enjoyed it and uh, comments are always welcome. Have a great day.